Why am I here on that? Because I was I was doing some puzzle solving. That's right. Hey there, everyone. This is Al Cow playing nonsense. Last time we have crossed the threshold before World One and Two, and we have yet again a secret exit that I am not equipped to deal with yet. So we're just gonna go top trees by Yogui. Ooh, so two exit. No Yoshi's. Two and a half and two and a half. Uh, all right, let's just jump in. So world two, yeah, like like, just this is a busy tree. Lots of sports happening on this tree top. Don't worry about it. Uh, whoa, okay, and you can take a sit in the canopy if you want. All right, there you go. Destroy everything. Get money. I'm gonna assume that below is just pits. Don't go on your own. It's the pits. Then you can slide and maybe lose control. Whoa, boomerang guy. Unbelievable. Also, there are Dagadons, so we're gonna go up here, very top most, maybe? For now? I don't know, man. Where you go? Hammer Bro just kinda hanging out there, huh? Yeah. Oh, there's a Dagadon there. Alright, I'll take this path. Get that Dag. Maybe also get that done. Alright, so yeah. You only take this passage if you are interested. Ugh. Dang it! So I want to get the shell for the hammer, bro. Ah, uh, but that's fine, though. Like, I got the dragon coin there. It's all good. Uh, yeah, so... I don't know, like, what's the scale of the difficulty rating. But, you know, this is going to be at least twice as hard as, um... World, like, stage one levels, maybe. Like, if that's how it works. How did that miss? Alright, let's try again. Like, it just kind of grazed by its head. There you go. Alright, I'm going to take the shell, because I know there's more. Treetop. I don't care about Boomerang Guy. I'm just not, not threatened by the Boomerang Guy in the slightest. I'm sorry. Oh, great, I missed. Alright, you know what? There we go. Uh, football, bro! Alright. Bro, do you football? Okay, well, I can use your footballs, maybe, to get up there one day. Maybe. I am insistent upon that, huh? Oh, I didn't get the big bounce. Yeah, here we go. I'm on top of the tree. Here we go. King of trees! Football here! Uh-oh, I want to go in a washing machine. Eh. Eh. I didn't. Okay, okay, okay. Washing machine. Oh, it didn't do anything. Point of advice, pressing the gel button reduces your gravity and makes you fall slower. Try sliding the slope with B or A held. I'll do that. I'm gonna hear or gonna hail both. I did it. Wow! Here we go. That's how we get the secret exit, yo. Just do what the game says, it doesn't matter, friend. Just do it, just do, you know, just follow the instructions. Trust the words of the blue speaker box, it's there to help you. Eh, yeah, that's right, you're helped. That's... Farp. Indeed, that's what I'm thinking. Alright, well, uh, maybe, maybe, wait, yeah. Shoot, I was trying to slide. Sliding was just... I, I was also, I think, pressing too much on the side. Uh-oh, 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 uh -oh. yeah, I'm running here. I'm the... What? What? Disagree. Duh. Duh! <laughs> yeah, no, sometimes I feel like slopes eat your chumps, and that's what happened there, twice. One of which was fatal. Whoa. That's right, I'm bouncing. <laughs> Ran out of things to bounce on, but I'm bouncing. Check it out, it's just like a big old orb of tree. <laughs> just a orb of leaves. Oh shoot, I jump right into that boomerang. Like, yes, bah, bah. the jump was eaten again. <laughs> nope. Oh, there's a mushroom down there, by the way. Ok, 
Okay, so if I go down here, I mean, there is still a plant that lives here, which is, you know, just adds a little bit of spice to your life. But there you go, I feel like, like it's not an official checkpoint, but it's like, I feel like it's, uh, it's, okay, just goes right through, huh? Alright, it's all good. Hey, there's the actual midpoint. <laughs> Man. Yeah, uh, things have been a bit deadlier for me. Alright, uh, like, where is land? I don't know. I don't think there is. You just kind of have to do something like that. Alright, I was hoping to land and then slide and thus kill him that way. It didn't work out that way. Ugh, okay, yeah. Alright, you're here. Throwing boomerang on top of this tree. Absolutely ridiculous. I mean, I'm loving this level. I'm loving less. My jumps getting eaten all the time. Oh, should I should have kept going. I but I was like, oh wait, maybe you want me to hold jump again. You know, not considering that that would make me jump. <laughs> just using powerful brain to for deductions here. Oh boy, just, just football down the tree. Football down the tree. Football down the tree. The scariest thing. I can go underneath this. Yeah, that's right. I'm behind a goal. And here is the last dragon coin. Here. Oh, well, I can try and get at it from the top. Try and get, like, a nice, big, chunky star amount. 29 isn't that chunky, but that's the amount I got. I like this level. <laughs> I, I, but I can tell things are a little bit harder. But also, like, whoa, 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 falling down the tree. A non-zero amount of deaths were... Actually, because of, uh, you know, slopes, they can and will eat your jumps. Ooh. Little sneak preview here to World 6. The Spooky Cave. Abstra City. Rated 1 and 1.5 and by Frozalar. It's so neat seeing these names again. Alright. Abstra City. Obstruction City? Like, even the- yeah, this is like a... It's, it's neat. Like, we get a little preview. Hello there, buddy. From WarioWare. No, yeah, no, yeah, no, yes. Wario Land, the one. Alright. Poppin'. Alright, yeah, so, uh, yeah, it, it's, uh, it's a little bit of a Bowser's Fortress thing, so, okay. We got ourselves a little bit of a cloud spectacle, and that guy is just spewing. Just nothing but... Spew. Okay, so you do freeze. I guess I'm picking one path, and I understand that I'll be coming back for other path. I'm not sure how I didn't get hurt by anything there, but I did not get hurt by anything there. Wee. Okay. Yeah, you're getting bopped. Of course. Oh, hello. Okay. Because there is a secret exit. Remember that. There's, like, lots of stuff going on. Well, I guess I'm going here now. Like, I probably missed other coins. And, you know, like, it doesn't have a smart, like, coin counter, so... I don't know where they're going to be, but it's just very probable. Because the level is displaying... an uncanny level of openness. With lots of, you know, small... Def Dang it! Slid right in a fireball. A lot of alternate paths. Uh, well, okay, you know what that means? It means that since I took a lower path and got a dagger on that way here, this is an invitation to just kind of like immediately go into an upper path here and just kind of let that guy move around, just kind of crawl around on the clouds. Check it out, it's by me. Never seen that thing before. Now I'm gonna go on top of the world. Yo, amazing. Check it out, it's a block. I jumped on a block, that's right, I did that. Alright, and here, we're gonna bounce on no one in particular. And fall to our doom, because I guess I didn't have enough momentum when I landed on a Koopa. Let's take... Oh, no, there is no middle path. No, I think this is a... I can't tell. Alright, well, what I can tell is I got hurt in a dumb way. Go! Yeah! We hoppin', we boppin', 
we're somewhere high above uh, the legislature. All right, well, see here there's a pipe, but there might be more. Oh, I think that was maybe a secret move? Maybe, I don't know. There's a pipe on top of the universe and I'm here now. All right, disco is there. Do I need, it's disco. I should have, I should have slid. I should have slid. Or taken my time and eliminate the disco. It's because I, I'm not, my mind was immediately, oh, do I need to use that disco to pop something somewhere? Yeah, these are positions where you can just let yourself go and you'll do fine. Okay, there's just a one up here. This is the magical one up coin of Walt Disney World. Sweet. All right, so yeah, we got blocks and obstructions and I, I wanted to slide, but I didn't. Ugh. Okay. Like, none of this is comfortable. <laughs> Alright. So understand. Take your time. I do want to just kind of, like, throw a shell at Mr. Spewer here. So I did that. Alright. You destroy the spiny, and then I destroy you. Uh, I guess I'm just taking the hit here. I guess I am. Whoa, okay, and then I guess I'm just gonna run here. I guess I am. Uh, uh. Okay, oh, there's a the last Agadon. So that's done. Uh, no! Here's an opportunity to work on the other half. Haven't been here for a hot second, but I mean, it still exists. And yeah, like, the knowledge that I have all the Dagadons now is reassuring. Because I know that no matter where I go, it's all good. I mean, that's not, that doesn't make any sense in terms of lesson to glean from any of them. Where did I die? Oh, wow, I was like, right at the end, huh? Right, I'm gonna go ahead and get myself another mushroom. So I died right at the end, once upon a time. By the way, it's <laughs> like, you know, it's real close. It happens. And yeah, the normal exit probably almost definitely just gonna leave out of here. But what? I wonder if World 6 there, like, there's a lot of other pipes set up all over the place. I'm starting to wonder if it's a real world and not, like, a sort of pipe hub. I don't know, I got fire now. Oh, if I could get that last, that would be good. Alright, so yeah, so, like, fireball is gonna be pointless against, uh... Disco, but it will destroy everything else. Including a spewer? I honestly, gonna be real, I kind of gamble that it would work on a spewer, because I did not actually know that for sure. <laughs> I just kind of assumed. I, mean, I was like, well, it's, oh, sh not. I thought it would make sense that it would work. Oh, so if they fly off screen, they just do despawn. That is uh, good information to have. Alright, okay. Uh, yeah, don't just stick around here. Just go, just go. No, what? You know what? If I want fire, I have I have the tools for it. Well. Dude, why can I not just do this jump anymore? Don't panic about it. Stay calm. Play smart. But yeah. Dude, I... I don't know.
All right. <laughs> Man, this has been just destroying me. Last time I just, you know, I, I, I failed to land on a disco, and when that happens, like, you have to react quickly, because they do be turning around. And, uh, I didn't. Like, that's just... Like, I feel like these are situations created to create, you know, a sense of urgency and panic. And what I- like, I feel like getting pursued by the disco and, uh, reacting quickly to what is going on is... The design- like, is the idea behind what is going on and I'm the one that's just kind of doing bad by doubling back constantly and all that, but as that's just how that's just how I find it comfortable to do this. All right, cool. I don't know what Abstruse City is. I guess Abstruse is the name of the city. No cities have names. <laughs> it's rare that the name of a city is a thing, and that unlocks. Is this a is this a real level? Because this is the key to unlocking a whole lot of things. It's one star, it's not free, so it is probably a level. And where do you go, Mr. Pipe? Ah, on the other side of this level that I've un also unlocked, so that's great. That's fantastic. But, but, I could also start my way towards something silly and that's what we're going to be doing next time.